we're going to take a look at the new Masters of the Universe, Prince Adam and Sky Sled, coming up after this. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do in this review. So many people have already reviewed it. I definitely have an opinion on this. I was probably one of the biggest Masters of the Universe, whoa, collectors as a kid. I had a lot of stuff. I bought most of it myself. I was the perfect age, and I saw Skeletor first at my brother's friend's place. It was the most amazing thing that I ever saw. I begged somebody for them. I don't know when it was, but a few weeks, months, days, I don't know what it was later. I had He-Man and Tila in my hands, and I couldn't believe that they were awesome. This was at the beginning of the 80s, so we still had this 70s, creepy, gritty, dark aspect to it, and I really, really like that. I still really like that. And that's the main difference. That's the one thing that's missing. The colors are not off as much as they were. Like, Things were just a little muddy, a little dirty. The Sky Sled is looking pretty good. It's a different color than the original one, but the thing that I'm noticing the most with these is the action figures, they're brighter color. That's what I think is what they've done to appeal to the children of today. That's what I liked about them, the crazy insane color combinations, colors that you wouldn't think would look good together. They had them paired up and they looked amazing. This is the box I got. There's something about me when I find toys that I, I just, I go blank. I get so excited that I don't see like if there's a problem or a mistake. And I really looked over, I wanted to get the best box. I had to bring this home on my bicycle. So I think I might've banged it up. I don't know if that happened. This, however, is something that I've been noticing. The art is fantastic. Of course I want to save this stuff, but I have a big slice through the box and i noticed that with a lot of them i don't know if they're doing this at walmart when they're opening do they open the boxes on a diagonal when they open up the boxes i managed to avoid it with battle cat but the sky sled i guess i did i'm think i'm gonna get two of each one of these one to keep in box maybe financial times are really difficult right now but we'll see I'm going to carefully open up this box, save it anyway. As you can see on the screen, you couldn't really see the scratch. I can appreciate the art. The art's looking better this time. Like, I really like the drawings, but it's digitally painted. I definitely prefer the hand-done stuff that we got originally. But I mean, that is up the times. But this stuff is looking particularly better. The figure drawings are what I really love even though they're looking a little more digital this time around. I don't know if it's because they're blown up. I cannot wait to get my hands on these figures. They're not showing up in Canada. They seem to be delayed. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Every time I go to the store, I'm, I've been asking, and they seem to keep being pushed back. Anyway, if you haven't seen the box art, if you haven't seen a review of this, I don't understand, because there's so many of them. Really awesome, awesome artwork. I love the little strange characters that they're sticking in there. Really amazing, amazing artists. Fantastic guys working on this stuff. I'm gonna carefully slice this open. That's exactly what I wanted to see. I'm glad it comes out easy like this. Here everything is in the box. This is my first Masters of the Universe action figure. I have been collecting the WWE ones, which I really, really love. It's like getting brand new characters, is how I see it. I also noticed that a lot of people are warming up to these figures. They didn't like them. People didn't like them at first. Now, I don't like them in the same way. I don't need the points of articulation. I'm not happy about that. I'm totally content with five points. Man, it looks so good. I love the bright colors. But what I do love is the minimal paint. It's not totally the opposite of classics, but it's doing everything that I found wrong with the classics. It's doing it right. And I love when they do this. I love when they take away the paint apps and they just simplify a toy and they make it more pop arty. That is what I love in a toy. That's what I love about the original 
Masters of the Universe toys. I loved how sturdy they were. I loved how they were bright and colorful. Something that people don't really want to admit, and I think is the reason why I didn't have any friends who were collecting Masters of the Universe, is because they're toddler toys. They really are. They're bright, colorful, hunky chunky. They're like made exactly like toddler toys, except they had this undertone of darkness and the colors were just a little muddy and just a little off. The biggest problem I have with these is their lags. So the first thing I have to do is put them in their traditional pose, bend their legs, make them more stocky like they're supposed to be. Then I love how the figure looks. This is my toy from the 80s. All of my figures are in excellent condition, <laughs> except for this guy. He is in the worst condition, even though as you can see, he's in pretty darn good condition with minimal scuffs or anything. But the problems are all with this vest, where just by storage, the felt would roll off just over time. The elastic totally gave out in this, so I also lost the little yellow button that was on it. But no elasticity is left in his belt whatsoever. Do have his original pink sword. His hands were always this really dark color. This I got at a toy show, and I was really happy that the stickers were off it. Because again, I like things that are simplified, even though the stickers were pretty awesome back in the day, but I am totally happy with this. It looks like a prototype to me. I love my battle ram, just like this. I probably got this less than a year ago, and so happy that I have it, because I never had this as a kid. Not something that I could afford when I was just a wee child when this came out. I mean, the plastic that holds these in is significantly harder than any plastic that you ever get your hands on. They must shrink wrap it around when they're making it. Plastic feels exactly the same. That's a definitely a good sign. We never got blasts or energy bursts back in the 80s for sure. That's a pretty cool little bonus that we have attached. There it is. This feels really good. Yeah. You know, something that I do love about these is what I hear people talking about, the pliability and flexibility of the weapons. However, this is this is a harder plastic, though. This isn't rubbery like people are talking about. This feels great. It does have rubbery parts on it, but they're not too rubbery, and it is awesome. Now, I'm not a big fan of the cartoon, and I grew up in a small community in Nova Scotia, Canada, and we didn't get anything but the first season of Masters of the Universe on our televisions. So I don't really remember seeing the different sky sleds for the good and the bad. I'm sure I did, and I didn't even really like the cartoon. I loved the toys. I loved the original comic books. I loved the darker parts to it. I didn't like Orko in his comedy relief. However, I do like the Orko figure because the Orko figure is bright and colorful. Now it's got switchable plates, so you can have the good guy, and you can take these off, and you can put on the bad guy ones. So you get an evil looking dragon, opposed to a good looking alligator. Am I not supposed to put that head on? I think I definitely like this head better. See the comparison? See how much bigger it is than this one? See the color is a little bit different? Which one, which color do you like? I do like this color better. It looks like gas station blue. This actually looks like gas station green though. It's a rugged, tough color. Okay, I love it. I think I've heard people say, if you put on the flight stand, it doesn't come off it. We've got this dune, though, this sand dune that the flight stand fits into. So I'm gonna snap that on there together. Hopefully I put it in the right direction and there's only one way to put it. I mean, I'm not gonna play with it, so maybe I should? I don't know. I can't imagine that you can't take it out once you put it in. That would just be weird, right? This is a toy made for children. Yeah, I can't take it out now. I mean, I can, but do I want to break it? 
I'm not gonna play with it. Yeah, that's that's super weird. But I guess it's gonna stay like that until I do some research. Nonetheless, I don't know which head is supposed to be this. They both look a little bit like it. Which head do I like the best? That's the one I keep on. I like this head the best. Which dragons do I like the best? I think I like these dragons the best. I'll keep those on. So this is the details, the connector piece. I can't see how it would fit comfortably into the battle ram, the way that it's sculpted here. There's this ledge here that wouldn't really, and there's no little thing to snap on. Maybe this is, but I think that's more of them paying homage to it flipping in. But I don't know, we'll see. Put the blast effect in there. Is it translucent? I don't think it's translucent, but it's a nice vibrant red. And then let's look at my first Masters of the Universe. I mean, I've had lots of WWE. You may have noticed I refuse to call these Origins because it doesn't say anywhere that they're Origins, but I do notice that on the shelf tags and that like during PowerCon, Mattel was referring to them as Origins. So maybe they're Origins. Hey, this vest. I was sure that that vest unclipped there, but I don't think it does. Also something that people don't talk enough about is that these are interchangeable and that's like super incredible. I like the He-Man head by the way. So many people hate it so much and I really really like it. I think it's great. I do love this head but there's definitely nothing wrong with this. This is the most 70s early 80s thing that they've done is this head sculpt. And do we really like his nerdy little haircut from the cartoon anyway? The whole cartoon was a joke to me. Look, I'm wearing the t-shirt. I liked it, and the writing got so much better. Was this unclipped? Is it glued? I think it's glued. I like the She-Ra. The writing in She-Ra got really, really good, and when there were the crossover episodes, I really liked those. Hey, hey, just like with this Prince Adam, they painted the skin color on, opposed to painting the vest color on. So it's molded in white. That's why his hands look so funny for the figure. They're a little darker than his actual complexion. Hands can be removed, I always forget this. These seem a little more loose and easy to interchange than I have had with my Masters of the Universe. The plastic seems to be perfect. That's the problem with all of these different companies like Super 7 and Funko and everyone else who was trying to do the 5.5 scale. They couldn't get the plastic right. We kept getting broken figures and it really was just a horrible disaster all around. And we take a big Mattel toy company and they use their factories with their awesome plastics. And this just feels so much more durable and I love it. And this new man is looking hunky and chunky. I'm not hating the articulation. In fact, it is kind of fun to pose them, so I'm even enjoying that. Once I get their legs squat in the traditional V-Man pose, I'm okay. I do think they look a little funny with their little thin legs when they're standing like that because they're really beefed up. I noticed that the shoulders seem to be more bulbous on the new ones than the classic figures. I've shown that before in some of my WWE, if you want to see a comparison of that. I do have some paint splatter on his shoulder and chest. Does that mean that they painted his neck after they had the arms attached? Or maybe that is just a dirt mark on the top of his shoulder. But for the most part, the paint is great. And the paint will be great for the most part because they aren't painting them. And that's what I love in a toy, where they just put together the different colors. The worst part about the interchangeability is that they don't change at the hips. I really wish they would have made the legs come out. You can heat them and pop out this ball joint because it is a ball joint. I'm not going to run through the articulation. Again, it's not important to me, and so many people have already. Let's just say that there's all kinds of articulation on these. The key point for me is that they actually can be taken apart. When Mattel made WWE create a superstar, I vocally said, definitely on my channel, and just to myself over and over again, I wish that they would make Masters of the Universe with interchangeable parts. I mean, I would have been happy with the five points. Take off a leg, take off a leg, take off an arm, take off an arm, take off a head. That would have been good for me. I mean, at the waist too. 
I wish we could get out the different underwear though and have a different groin piece for each person because it is funny that you have to take the whole leg and pants with them but you can work around it and the more figures that they make the easier it is to, to mix and match and make your own awesome creations I love that so much. When I look at all of my WWE ones, and now that I'm looking at this one, I always think that they're a little smaller. Like I'm saying, oh, are, are his feet smaller? But his feet are actually bigger. I guess his ankles are smaller because of the joints. And then when it's straightened out, the knees look smaller. But once you crouch them, then the proportions all seem to be the same. The shoulders really do stand out as going out more. And they do look a little funny to me. But I'm not complaining. And I love this head. I can't believe people don't love this head. I love all the new heads. Why not? I have all the old ones. If I wanted to buy the original ones, I could get on eBay and do that. I thought when they released their classics, they were going to be the figures for me. When I got them in hand and I saw all the black washing on them, that's not what I want. That McFarlane business. I'm so happy that we're finally getting Playline. I hope the kids love these. Can't keep them on the shelves. It took me so long to get this set. People are buying them up. Figures haven't shown up. Hopefully they do tomorrow or the next day as of this recording. I love this figure. All right, I hope you will like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for taking this trip down memory lane. Hopefully I'll have some more Masters of the Universe reviews coming for you really soon. I actually have Battle Cat, but I haven't opened them yet. Battle Cat and the Sky Sled are the only things that came out here in Canada so far. What? Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Check out this Prince Adam. I was running around to all the stores looking for these things. Like, I was so happy that we had a new Masters of the Universe toy line. I, mean, I think this is going to work. People are jonesing for Masters of the Universe. It doesn't happen in Canada. Like, I'm a big toy collector, and I seem to be the only person who buys toys. Whenever there's a new toy that comes out, I can go to a store. If it's not at that one store that I go to, if I go to another store, I'll find the new toy. Except for Boba Fett from the Star Wars figures. These have been so hard to track down. I don't know who, maybe it's one person who's going around and buying up all of the Battle Cats and the Sky Sleds. But they disappear as soon as they come out. And from what I'm seeing online, this is happening all around. This is huge. Even those huge displays that are showing up at stores, all of those figures are disappearing within a week. This has given me hope. Two cartoons, a new Masters of the Universe line, a new McFarlane-like Masters of the Universe line that the big kids will probably like. The minis, which I'm not sure if I like. I do have the whole set that I have to still open. I have a lot of toys that I have to open. There's too many good toys coming out right now. It's not even Christmas yet. The face looks so good. See, that's what Mattel can do. I mean, I don't, I, I really hate being negative and being mean or anything, but this is a joke. Like, especially the women. Is it the Four Horsemen's fault? Why do all of the female characters look like men in the classics? The Tila looks fantastic. They did an amazing job. This face looks so great. I mean, I love the original face. Like that's a really cool looking face. That's Big Jeff is who that face is. But this, it's its own entity and it's perfectly sculpted. It's perfectly painted and the hair looks fantastic. I'm, I'm loving it. And I'm totally old school. Differences are modern faces, more pronounced muscles even, brighter colors. They're doing everything right in a toy. This is definitely a sofa bed toy, though. Not quite for an adult collector. Not quite for a child. Lays somewhere in between. That's what I like in a toy. Masters of the Universe always was that. Totally a modern cake with all the right elements. Hunky, chunky, in my hand. Awesomeness. Such a tight fit to get those stickers in there. One of my corners were off. It's not fitting perfectly in there. I'm worried about that over time. They'll probably come off. 
I also didn't mention how <laughs> there's Slate. Follow Slate on Instagram. He's Slate in the city to see his adventures. This is going to work out awesomely. We, he loves this ride. That's something that I didn't do. I didn't put uh, Prince Adam on here. I don't like how the figures stand on here. I don't like how I've seen people put the figures on here. So let me see if I can actually make them look good without them sitting back so far. It just looks really funny. Wow, you get lots of mobility with this plate stand. They gave him two gripping hands. Yeah, they really have to sit back. There's nothing you can do. You really want to strain out the legs as much as possible, which is something that I don't like to do. And then he's still sitting. That's the best you can do. That's a little more upright than any of the examples that I've seen people do, but he's still really falling back. I think I would prefer if I sit him up like so. Yeah, the, the handles. Maybe if the handles came off, it would bend them forward. I wonder if they added the handles afterwards to the original hand grips because they weren't holding on to the hand grip or because they couldn't have their feet in the pegs. So then they came up with this idea to put the handles into the existing handles so that they could actually sit on here. But I would prefer that they just hold on to their handles. I don't know. I love how the sled looks. I just don't like how they look on it. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It just doesn't look comfortable. 